Capricorn, hope you're well. My name is Vince. Welcome to 7D Tarot. If this message resonates, like, share, and subscribe. And for more clarity on your situation, check out your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you would like to schedule your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. And for a totally fresh perspective, check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. You will love her. You can find her info in the description box as well. And Capricorn, make sure you stay tuned until the end of your reading where I will pull a final message from the universe tying everything together and your animal spirit. All right, so let's dive right in Capricorn, see what's going on in your life, who's coming and going, how's your romantic energy, how's your career energy, how's your financial energy, how's your health, you know, what should you look out for? Let us find out. Now, first card is, ooh, Page of Swords. So a lot of you can expect some sort of clarity download, some sort of energy from the field, almost like an aha moment of clarity coming into your life. You've been waiting for some answers. You're about to receive it very, very soon. So that's very exciting. Now you got the eight of wands. Look at that. Whoa, ace of cups, king of pentacles. Oh my, four of swords. It's going down. Wow, king of swords. Very interesting. A lot of swords action, right? So a lot of thinking is going on right now. Judgment, Seven of Cups, Queen of Cups. Very interesting. Whoa. So it's like, on one hand, Spirit is telling you that you are going to have to strategically make a game plan. You got that King of Swords action, but you also have King of Pentacles. So your angels are telling you to be guided with this decision when it enters your life. Now, this is a financial decision. This is a decision that's going to help you, you know, master your finances. And you're going to get some sort of download, some sort of moment of clarity from your, from your angels and guides telling you exactly what to do. And I'll give you an example. Like, you may be going for a walk, then all of a sudden you'll get a thought telling you, you're good at this, start this business, or you know, ask your boss for promotion, or do this, go back to school. That aha moment of clarity, that inspired action. And when you get that inspired action, it, it's up to you to capitalize on it. Because a lot of times we get that inspired action, but we kind of dismiss it. We tell ourselves, oh yeah, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll do it later, I'll think about it later, or we tell ourselves, you know, like, um, Oh, you know, maybe this was just a fluke or it was a random thought. It's not. It's a synchronicity from your angels and guides telling you exactly what to do next. And you're going to get this message. And what I like to do is I like to keep like a pocketbook in my, in my jacket pocket or my phone nearby. I like to write it down though. And anytime I get inspired action, I immediately write it down because I don't want to forget, forget, forget it because it means so much to me. I understand how important it is to get that message from the field. Now you got the 10 of cups and seven of cups. I do see here that some of you may be receiving multiple offers in the near short term. And right now these offers are something that you're passionate about, you've wanted to do for, for quite some time. Maybe you've been waiting for someone to reach out, make contact with you. Someone that has the same fundamentals, same ethics, morals, the same principles as yourself. You guys have a very strong base, you can say. And it's almost like the Eiffel Tower, right? Like the Eiffel Tower is only, you know, uh, uh, structurally sound because of those four bases, those four structures at the bottom. And if there's any cracks in that foundation, the whole thing falls. I see here that you and this special somebody have very strong fundamentals, but I also do see here that during this time frame that your angels are telling you with that seven of cups not to wait for the perfect timing. The perfect timing is right here, right now. Capitalize on this energy. Focus on, you know, um, really using your instincts and moving forward with it rather than just waiting for something to happen, rather than just thinking about what to do, feeling what your next step should be. Now, you also got the four of cups and the five of cups. If you notice, so many cups action right now. And I do see here that some of you may be feeling as if someone in your energy has betrayed, disappointed, or lied to you. And I do see here that this energy has been lingering with you for quite some time. And because of this, your guard is up and you're having a hard time trusting other people. And right now, your spirit is telling you that if your guard is up, you're going to miss out on multiple opportunities that present itself because you're always going to be thinking of the worst. Now, this happens when something happens to us. We collect data. This is completely normal. At that point, now we have a familiar past and any time we want to think of something that's going to happen in the future, predictable future, we assume the worst because our ego does not want us to get hurt. But when this happens, we miss out on opportunities because your guard's always up, right? Someone comes up to you and says, hey, I have a great idea for starting a business. You're going to think they're out to get me. They're, they're, they're going to steal money from me. Someone says that, hey, you know, I have someone that is a perfect fit for you. You should date them. You're going to think that, you know, oh, you know, this isn't the right person and you know, this, you know, this person doesn't know me. But whatever the case is, your angels and guys are telling you to take that leap of faith and really start listening more to your instincts during this time frame. 
Now you got the Eight of Wands and you got the Strength card. So some of you may be going on some sort of trip with that Eight of Wands. This is a travel card. Maybe some sort of vacation trip. Maybe there's something going on here where you're going to be taking a business trip, weekend getaway. And right now that strength card lets you know that on this trip, you are really going to remember who you are. You're going to get out of your comfort zone and you're going to really put yourself in a position to start remembering. And at the end of the day, that's what it comes down to is remembering, right? Because you already know your soul has been reincarnated thousands of times, but you got to start remembering who you truly are. And you are someone who doesn't take no for an answer. You are someone who's here in the third dimension to experience stuff. You are not someone who's, someone who's going to let fear and regret hold them back. You're someone who's going to really uh, take advantage of every second while you're here. And by remembering who you are, by really putting yourself in a position to be able to get these downloads, these insights and these clarities, everything in your life is going to be a whole lot easier and it's going to be easier for you to make these strategic uh, uh, changes. Now, you also have Justice and the Queen of Cups. And some of you may be feeling as if your empathic abilities are almost too much. Because again, when us empaths, we're so hypersensitive to everything. And I do see here that you're picking up a lot of people's energy. This could be your coworkers' energy. This could be your friends, your family, people on social media. And it's making you feel overwhelmed because you feel as if you're living their lives. And that's the thing, you know, us empaths, we, as we're going for a walk, we feel energy from across the street. When we go to work, we feel our coworkers' energy. And the majority of people on planet Earth are not really spiritually ascending uh, currently. I'd say like 5%. Um, and that's not because it's their fault. It's just programming. And because of this, they are lost. And when they are lost, everything is a struggle. Everything is efforted rather than effortless. And right now, Spirit is telling you to put yourself your passions, your love ahead of anyone else right now. This is the least selfish thing you could do. Why is that? Because when you are happy, when you are shining, when you are confident, when you have brain and heart coherence, you are leading by example. But it's almost like having a strong leader. So for example, if you want someone to eat healthy, you have to eat healthy, feel good, and show them why they should eat healthy. If you want someone to be positive, you have to show them what positivity does, right? So right now, by you shining and living your best life and not worrying about convincing others what to do, but instead just leading by example, it will all start making sense effortlessly. All right, Capricorn, I'm going to pull your animal spirit. And right now your animal spirit is, look at that seahorse spirit. Watch and wait. And this is about collecting data. This is about not being hasty with any decision. This is about putting every impression to the test. And right now spirit is telling you that you do not need to feel as if you have to make a hasty decision. So if you've been waiting to make a decision when it comes to your work, your career, your business, your love life, anything, don't feel like it has to happen because of FOMO, fear of missing out or anything. Understand that the right time is about to present itself to you. So don't feel like you have to do anything. All right, now Cap Capricorn, I'm going to pull a final message from the universe for you. Ah, universe final message for Capricorn, please. What does Capricorn need to know? And the message is shift your energy. Look at that. Shift your energy. And this is number 19. And the message is clear your energy, the energy of those around you and the energy of your environment. Winds of change are blowing into your awareness in order to prepare for what is ahead. Begin a process of renewal. So this is about changing your energy because when you change your energy, you change your life. I repeat this, change your energy, change your life. What is energy? It's your awareness, right? It's your thoughts. When you're thinking of something as if like, oh my goodness, it happened to me, I can't believe this, it's gonna be lower frequency. But when you tell yourself, wow, this happened for me. Why did this happen for me? What was the lesson? What am I supposed to see here? What am I supposed to do differently? What am I supposed to do the same? Gotcha, thank you so much. Collect the data, moving on. And when you have that perception, now everything starts making sense. And now there's no energetic roadblocks. There's nothing holding you back. There's nothing lingering there. And right now, spirit will give you more than more because you'll be able to handle more. And that's the one thing your angels and guides, they do not want to give you more opportunities unless you deal with the ones you currently have. So it's like, imagine you have a plate, you have food on it. If you want more food, you have to eat the food you have and then you'll be given more food. But there's, they're not gonna pile food on top of food, for example, or opportunity on top of opportunity. And that's why we don't have someone knocking on our door every single day saying, hey, you know, here, I'm your soulmate, or you know, I am you know, here to make money with you or you know, start a business with you. But when we clear the energy, change our perspective, instill excellent habits, become the cause and effect, use our personality to create our personal reality, now in this fractal holographic universe, you are the co-creator of your own world. 
All right, Capricorn, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Till next time, honor your soul.